Welcome to Sidecar Games. My name is Kevin Manley, and today I'm joined by my wife Ashley hey. and Dustin's dog Luna. <laughs> so uh, it is a sidecar <laughs> car. Yeah, <laughs> it's a sidecar truck. We Dustin have all the people. Is, Dustin is here in canine spirit. <laughs> uh, we got Chris in chat over on Twitch. If you want to watch us live, go to Twitch.tv/sidecargames. Follow us there. Ashley, let's continue with the conversations. We are now playing Vampire. Kaiser says, hi, Luna. Hashtag sidecar pup. Sidecar pup. Sweet little sidecar pup. Hi there, baby. Oh, little whiners. Okay, this is Tippet, right? Yeah. I think. We did get some more on him. Good evening, Doctor. Oh. I believe we're going to be working. Nope, it's a different dude. Doctor Reed. Yeah. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such this guy's honor, on board. Sir. He's horny Thank for you. us right now. And you mm -hmm. are. I am Thoreau Strickland. Uh, Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm Dr. Strickland, that's another good... Work, Dr. They got great doctor names in this. Well, you know, I like Dr. Reed's. Uh -huh. Criminal Minds. Yeah? He is pretty cool. He is? Anybody oh, watch minies. Criminal Minds? Yeah, any Criminal Minds fans out there? In the universe. Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. Yeah, you are. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. It's the future. It turns out they're right. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. Sidecar pup. to help you if I can. This, this little sidecar pup. This sweet little sidecar pup. Sweet little side disaster, pup. But I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones able to defeat it. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. Oh God, this guy's My gonna be creepy. Is purely he is. experimental and unsuccessful. As long Something as about like people being obsessed with blood. You may remain empty. Something about people with round glasses. You're the first oh. one to warn me. <laughs> but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. I don't know. I don't think they did. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. But with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. Blood, blood, blood. They're saying blood more often than they did in Bloodborne. You seem quite optimistic. Bloodborne, 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 Bloodborne. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain. Science! Chris, for science! True, true. <laughs> Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. Oh, he likes Milton. I'm not smiling now. Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. Ooh. Mm. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research. Here we go, mission uh, boys. The supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play a the A batch errand? of products. I think oh, he no. means dead bodies. I'm not sure. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation, Bye, Chris. you wouldn't dare to refuse the product. All right, I later, see. Chris. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. All righty. Who's on board? We got Kaiser and... Oz. Oz. I think that's it right now. Yeah, that's about it. Who's in the house? <laughs> Who's in the house now? Luna's in the house. There's a dog in the house now. <laughs> what do you think of Whoa. Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? It's a shame he's so narrow-minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on, you should put your differences influenza. aside, don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. That seems like a narrow... is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. Blinded by the obsolete pursuit of medical science. <laughs> mm. All right. 
Alright. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment oh. with new medical techniques. I have a hint. Vampire hints. Vampire hints. Vampire's thirst. I'm convinced your blood <laughs> For blood and hints. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? A fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Yeah, that's what I think. He's got some powers. He's like... You think so? Oh, our guy, yeah. Yeah. I think so. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father. Ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. Interesting. All right, Harvey. Harvey Keitel. His personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance How did he... Did he just, like, cut him open? He's like, hi, I'm Ackroyd. <laughs> My name's Dan. Hopes and fears. <laughs> Some biological machine comprised of blood, bones, and flesh. Sweet. Right. I think we uh, we exhausted this boy's dialogue tree. Goodbye, Doctor Strickland. All right, go up to your go He's up to your loft. He's an interesting dude, but there's so much more. I know, but let's. Uh, let's I know, but what am I gonna do? I got all these. You can talk peeps. to them tomorrow. 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 Oh my God! I still have a. Was that vampires? I still have a reflection. Uh, some vampire lore says no, uh, no to the reflections, but that's not ubiquitous. Be aware, any big personality rewrites with your powers is akin to taking a sword to the person's brain. Your what? Personality rewrites? Personality rewrites with your powers. Huh, is that like the, when we use the hint? Is that what you're talking about? Hmm. We can rewrite people's personality? Hmm. Oh my gosh, you found another person. Good evening, sir. <laughs> I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. <laughs> Your <laughs> colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Oh, this is uh, the guy he was talking about. Okay, he said, nah, those are slight nudges. Those are fine. Big changes are the dangerous part. How do I know when it's going to be a big change? I don't know. Maybe we unlock that later. We unlock Tell me about vampire rewrite abilities. I'm just a regular guy mm. waiting to get his arm fixed. So I can return to work. And to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter, uh, and a good one too. Ah, there we go. Oh, shit. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Come here. Tell me about the doctors who Chill. are arguing about Chill. your case. Strickland and Ackroyd. <laughs> they both want the of best. Of course, those guys. There's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. The moaning in the background is so much. Rivals. Yeah. It's a bit, it's a bit extra. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my You will now wait and see. But you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. You are so I'm warm, Luna. Are. are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? She's toasty. I have the feeling you're in the very oh, God. Oh, And your colleagues seem to think so too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. What are you doing? My apologies. Wow, I just turned him down. Yeah, you did. You're like, I don't want any of that, boy. Tell me about your injury, Ooh. Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died. That's, that's really cool. Aww. It's like the shadow. Because I've been careless in the, the shadow movie oh, no. with His wife Alec Baldwin. Died. Aww. That's sad. Why did you volunteer your, uh, your wife? Your wife died because of you. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. 
She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. Yeah, but that's... You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. Unless or you your wife's to death. Hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. Yes, Doctor. Doctor. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. Wow. You already did this. I was in the army. Mm -mm. Building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. I thought we just heard this. That was something different. Oh, okay. How are your children after losing their mother? They were smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Helen didn't bring them with her that night. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. I served in France. Just one guy in the back. No! I would like to say that she didn't suffer. The truth is, I have no idea. London I just is know so that depressing. I'm all that right? Have. Hi. Your bleeders. No. Okay, no. so. I We're like back. how tactful Jonathan is. He doesn't get to know things just because of being the main character or his powers. He's respectful for how delicate the person's situation is. I agree, I Kaiser. agree. Well, he is a polite British man. Yeah, he's he's a proper Englishman. I'm like that guy. Goodbye for now. Oh! <laughs> There's just ghosts in the background. It's so sad. It's like it's like a lot. Why don't you go rest and, uh... Unfinished letter. No, we're not. Oh, no. Oh, I can't read that. It's too sad. Oh, but I did get a new... Oh, it's from Harvey. Okay. Good, Good evening, letter. Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Hello, little pup. Apparently there's not. Wait. Wait, wait, uh-huh. You seem worried about the safety of your family. And it's obviously the reason why your wound troubles you so much. I cannot give up on my children now. They both need me living. What about their mother, if I may ask? Oh, no. She died in 1915 during one of the first Zeppelin raids. We never found her body. What if she's a vampire? She could be. Oh, hi, darling. All right, you need a... Hello, you need a darling. You need a Oh Goodbye <laughs> for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. <laughs> you're getting you're getting too feisty. You're getting too filled with love. Oh. You're getting too upset. I need you to calm down. She's like, love if, me. If you want to be a streamer dog, you have to be chill or funny. One of the two. What's it gonna be? Is this a dude that I have? That's the other dude. That guy's like, I just want to shit in this chair. I want to shit in this chair. <laughs> well, he looked like he was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. But let me ask you some personal questions. But first, your thoughts. Tell me, Waverly. What do you think of his name's Waverly? Enthusiasm for his experimental the only research. Waverly I know is uh, a woman. Hmm. Never right. heard of him. I mean, to be fair, I've never heard of the name Waverly until... Well... You might find an Ashley in this game. That's a boy. That's a man. That's true. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague obviously disagrees. Why do you wish to lead this surgery? Yeah. I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. That's fair. That's like American... Uh... Other Medical. people may say that's too conservative a point of view. Conservative? And what are you going to say to Mr. Fiddick if he loses his arm because of the operation? Because that's what's going to happen if the surgery is a failure. Well, he's going to lose it if... And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. Well, at least he's, he's kind of trying to be reasonable. Did I lock anything here? Nope. Nope. Why don't you go upstairs? Thank you for your time. 
I we've know, but there's stuff. I know, but let's progress a little bit. I think we've talked to quite a few people. Nope. All right, just just bite her neck really What quick. can I do for you, <laughs> Doctor? <laughs> what kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Uh, is it a blood transfusion, much I less you would have risky known about than your a complex surgery he proposes? It's right to assume basic. Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. I love how she's I've walking around with blood all over her hands. This I mean, is I've only just back in the day, that's how it was. They didn't use Dr. gloves. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate They didn't physician. wash their hands either? I mean, maybe not. Maybe they were just like, I got if shit to do. me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. Yeah, at least you waited a little bit. Office at the end of the <laughs> yeah. corridor. Isn't a blood transfusion less risky you, than... Oh, okay, I already read that. Yeah, I think a blood transfusion would be less risky, but the problem is, this guy's like, that's unprecedented. Like, people don't really do that. What just happened? It's locked. That was massive. What? Up. That was like some, uh... That was like, really rude. It was like a Scooby-Doo movie right there. Yeah. <laughs> Zoinks! <laughs> Alright, fine. I think you talked to everyone. No, that's only one wing of the hospital. You talked to everyone okay, this wing, I, didn't you? I did? Did I? Yeah. Yeah, you talked to everyone here. Okay. And then I came in. And but here. but just to blow your little bud mind a little bit, this is just one area of the whole game. <laughs> and there's this <laughs> many people to talk to. You talk to her. Oh my god. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor Reed. All right. Did I find anything else? All. I don't think so. Goodbye. goodbye. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. He hello. Hello. Goodbye. There might be people in those wings, but j yeah, just go to your your quarters. Uh, there's one more nurse outside with glasses. Oh, outside. Yeah, if you want to do that. Okay. Looking for goodies. <laughs> I'm looking for the mun muns. I cannot enter. Fine. Can I enter any room? Alright. Let's go outside for a sec. Let's try to find that lady with the glasses. Mm hmm That gal with the glasses. If you just did your vampire dash in here. Everyone's like, what the hell? He's a vampire. Can we talk to him? Dude. Um, no one in there. There's one more nurse with the glasses. Maybe outside the front gate. Whew. Kaiser, did you play this game? Or did you watch people play it? Is that her? Good evening, nurse. Oh, there I'm you Dr. Go. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse oh, Gwen Brannigan. She's the Welcome good lady. Pembrook Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion test. Keith Ballard. Dr. I don't know Swansea him. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm Does Keith puppies. have puppies <laughs> on his show? Have to, deal with this <laughs> to be fair, we normally don't. <laughs> you must know. Blood transfusion but we could. Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. I will buy this at the, on the end of your Steam sale. The Steam sale is great. I, I need to... <coughs> just choked a little bit. Um, I need to double check what uh, How are things here? What games are available. Good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy. More lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard to... It's so hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy. Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. 
Nurses can't be poetic. Do you think this hospital can survive? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to. Kaiser likes Luna. How do we beat an invisible killer? You hear that? Kaiser likes you. You got a little deer butt. I'm not familiar with all the staff. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them. Is there a problem I should know about, perhaps? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill. Oh. Okay. She doesn't like someone. Is there anyone? No, speak else? up! <laughs> well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. Dr. Tippett's is if the... The young. one that disagrees. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Interesting. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Oh, okay, at least it's not. <laughs> Speak up, woman! No, I, I must know! Conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. <sighs> All right. I'm not Did familiar I? with all the stuff. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, sorry. Did that. Did sorry, that. sorry, sorry. <laughs> What's that from? May. Oh, yeah, yeah, Some Overwatch. Tippett's praises you. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? May is my bae. Yeah. I probably would have left for Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just Keith a has a pretty chill Let's Play style. You might want to see his Monster Hunter World series. He's also done some Soul games, or done all of the Soul games. I really hope he doesn't. Yeah, I want to do. Goodbye. I want to play Monster Hunter World. Call me if you we'll need have to set that up. I need to get another power cable for the PlayStation to set one up back here, or the second one back here. Another unknown? Oh my goodness. I mean... Oh, she. Hey. <laughs> Where is she? What did I just do? Where is she? Rachel! Pippa! Pippa. That was pretty funny. Pippa and her pesto mist. Alright, chill. You already talked to him. I Where's to my unknown? Oh, he's in there. It's locked. Oh, that's a she. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's oh, it is. You're right. No. <laughs> no. Wait, Tippets. Where the hell is Tippets? Okay. Tippet, 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 It's like using your powers to see a beacon of people in the area. It's locked. It's, it's, it's locked. like the uh, the visual representation of what it's like when I smell bacon. <laughs> <laughs> go 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 to your room. But there's garbage. Go to your room. What is this? This is something important, no doubt. No, it's just a book that you can't even pick up and read. That is just disappointing. Let me in. Go to your room. All right. But I should talk to Tibbets. You see him? Uh, I think he's on the other wing. To my right? Yeah. There he is. That's Strickland. Uh, he's over here somewhere. Unknown. Wait, she's unknown? No. No, we talked to her. Oh. Wow, and she gives you a lot of experience. What the heck? Why is this open sometimes and sometimes it's not? Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. This I'm seems Dr. like a, an important part. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Ooh. Goswick. Could well, you not you Mortimer Goswick. <laughs> you don't say. I have much of your talents as a physician. What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to is, say. Is that how you approach people? Take care of my what can you tell me about yourself, Ashley Manley? <laughs> if that's your real name? How about this for a question? Are you that rich? What are you doing in your life? Hey girl, what are I you doing really in your life? That rich? 
most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes. Oh, poor. Thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. That's nice. All right. Sweet. May I ask if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick? I'm a teacher by profession. I All teach right. young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. Fuck yeah, feminism. <laughs> What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. <laughs> but we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. She's like, people are bleeding on the floor. It's bothering you? Some Ooh. of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Wow. Well, they only used to poor people. Tell me more about your arrival at this hospital. <laughs> What gave you it just sounds so intense, and then he's just like, What are you doing tonight? <laughs> like, you, you would think, like, that sound, like, lines up with, uh, like, It was you who stabbed him in the kitchen. <laughs> Pippa. Pippa. She charged you for a bed. Yes. And I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. Oh, and you're rich! <laughs> I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. Can you move I that backpack really quick? Why? Because it's just pushed but up I'm against the blinds and would not be tolerated in other hospitals. All right. All right, so Pippa's doing some... Pippa. Stuff. <sighs> the Pembroke needs a lot of sanitation work. It also... What? I can mesmerize her? Oh, I can mesmerize You can mesmerize her. anyone. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. I could just kill them. Like, yeah, right you could just kill them whenever you want. That's... And the more hints you unlock, the more experience they give you. But, like, what if I killed people... What if you just walked around and killed everyone in this hospital? I'm Dr. Yeah. Reed. You would become a god. No. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. Oh, I suppose he's got that this bit. pain is yeah. the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Um, could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. 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 Stephen. Stephen Gosling. <laughs> How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? Ryan Gosling's lesser known brother, Stephen Gosling. I just like the name Stephen. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Not really. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Oh. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. Wait, why is this still... Uh, maybe it's just another... Why option. did your mother have you hospitalized here? Well, hello. She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. Just be careful she he doesn't like rub up here. against your mic. She'd go all the way to Helen back to help me. Is your mother bothering you? Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest oh, assured, little angel. Good no, no, no. Help me, you have to convince Dr. Reed. It's my mother. It's my Is mother. your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I think most moms would do that. I guess so. My mom would be pretty, like, and like intense if I was like, let you get some rest. no, mom, I, I can't have you in here right now. I'm not feeling well. Did I get something unlocked with her? I don't think so. How is my son doing? I didn't see anything. No. Yeah, you're good. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. You're golden pony boy. Okay. That was interesting that the door just like opens and yeah. closes. Well, maybe like it closed because she was like upset. But then like the more time Is this passed. Tippet? No. I think he might be in like another room or something like that, like another locked room. Is this Tippet? No, that's. No. Fiddick? It's like a phone. Did you hear that? All right, go upstairs. Let's do that now. Okay. 
Pippa. Pippa. This is Pippa? No. Why do we need Pippa? We just found out that she was stealing, or she was charging people for beds. Oh, okay. And he's like, I'll have a Good discussion evening, with her. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Um, what if the whole entire game is just in this hospital? It's not. <laughs> oh, oh, you can't. Maybe you get something else to lead down Goodbye. that line of questioning later. Right. Or maybe it's something for someone else, like uh, like that main doctor. You know what I mean? Alright. Alright, let's do this. Did I go in here? Oh, it's part of the same wing. Oh no, little baby. Chill. 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 Just be chill. Just be chill. Not now. Not now. Your That's name will be on the door. Swansea. Oh, more wings. Wait, what is this? Dr. Swayze. Dr. Patrick Swayze. This is a frightening operating room. Your breath is smelly. A used hacksaw. Oh my god. Uh, your breath is really smelly. Oh my god. You have dog breath. You have dog breath supreme. All right, here you go. There, you're here now. I found Dr. Elwood, or Mr. Elwood's medical fire files, so I'm sure I'll find other people's mm -hmm. files just randomly. Yeah, we do tables. eventually want, uh, what's her name's? Dr. Tippett's, Dr. Strickland, Dr. Ackroyd. That's not us. Dr. Reed, this is us. Dude, we got our own wing and everything? Look at this. Okay, before I go in there. Just double checking for files. This looks promising for a second. Yeah. I like how the door is just ripped off. Yeah. Someone's just like, fuck this door. Bun Bun's but has to explore. She's got to explore now. Wait, what does this say? She can't stop until she's done exploring. Second floor. It's the second floor now. I thought I was on the second floor. Maybe it's third floor? And they forgot how to spell numbers. They forgot how to spell numbers. Yep, you heard me. All right. I think you're done. For now. This must be. No. I don't. Be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. It like waited Radiated for you to fully to walk into the room. Did you notice that? Kingdom of my own. Mm. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Ha 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 ha. Oh gosh. Wow. Should I just read this whole thing verbatim? No. But it's on Econs. What's that? I don't know. A rare opportunity to approach a vampire, um, approach them and observe their psychological traits and rational eye, supernatural speed, mesmerism, blood awareness. This is like a nice little recap. There's a Y over there. The flowers dying. That's the, uh... It needs water. Crafting center, I think. Oh, you need water. Dude, you can water your plant like Persona. <laughs> I have glass vials, but... Yeah, maybe you can fill them with water like it's a Zelda game. But I can't Use pull them? them out? Whip it out. Whip out the glass vials. No. Glass vial right there. What Samples and ingredients. Glass vial. A small glass vial. So maybe silly. not. Maybe you don't do it here. Shillings. And some aluminium powder. 
I like how they pronounce it. Aluminium. It's a reference to how you can water your plant in each new episode of Life is Strange, another game. Yeah! Life is Strange. I'm excited for the second one. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you have max ammo. You're good. Uh, go to the crafting table, maybe? Let's take a look. Yeah, you liked the first Life is Strange a lot. Mm-hmm. Blood sample of William Bishop. A fresh sample of William Bishop's blood in a small tube. Analyzed to view blueprints. Yeah. Serums. What's the blueprints? Light regeneration serum. Regenerate 300 health points instantly, then 150 Ooh. at over 15 seconds. Ooh. I still need a ferrous tartrate. I can't it's read that. something else. Sodium, it looks like. Okay. Someone had fatigue. I can't really do anything. No, not yet. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. All right, take a nap. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. All right, we can level shit up. I'll continue tomorrow night. So we have over a thousand. I have so much time. 1300, wow. Uh, so we can get the healing one. Coagulation, two seconds control, will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Ooh. Mm, I don't understand. Okay. You can create you create an invisible barrier absorbing direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. I'm not into that. We can dodge. That sounds cool, though. Or I can do... Can I do my claws now? Yeah, you can. Although, maybe we need more passive skills. Plus 50 health. That's only 300. Yeah. Blood. Blood capacity. Increases your blood capacity. Might be helpful. Uh, Kaiser says more HP and bite skills are handy. Fast. Hard biting. Fast regeneration. Increase your life regeneration when using bite in combat. That sounds nice. That sounds nice. Yeah. But then I won't be able to do anything else. Well, it's worth how much? It's only worth 300. I know, but everything else is. Oh, like a thousand? So, uh, go up to body? Because now I can't do. No, but you can raise your health. Let's see. No. Um. What's the second bite? How much is the second bite ability? Um, Not here, but... Increase your life regeneration. It's only 300. Okay. You need to get that. And then go to what's, the other bite. Wait, what's that? Science. Medical bag. You can now carry three serums on you. That sounds useful. Increase the number of bullets you can carry. Also What's useful. the blood abilities? Increase your blood capacity. Okay. Increase your blood absorption, which sounds good. I thought this was increase your blood. Uh, oh, no, that's damage. the damage. Wait, click on the damage one. You might be able to update this. Yeah. You can update that. Well, I can. Is that what I want to do? Yeah. And then I'd save the... I'd hold on to the rest of the experience points. Kaiser said, remember, we are born of the blood, made vampire <laughs> Empires by, by the, the blood, blood, undone by, by the, the blood. blood. Our skill trees are yet to open. Fear the old blood. <laughs> it's Bloodborne references. Okay. Um, uh, go into health. Body. You can get like the 30, that, that first one, plus 50 health. Sure. Right. Health is always useful. All right longer health bar no forgot I have to go down here oh it could have canceled everything you just did yep that's actually kind of nice the following night if I'm to stay here until my research is complete I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals but what about my thirst for blood Hmm. Enter the backyard garden. Answer the door. 
anything, y'all? I think someone's calling for you. This one? Yeah. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... This room is off limits. Um... Uh, there is nothing here. What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. Wow. I may have a solution. That seems to make sense. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem. And we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used ah, in the pinch instead. Gonna... Mm -hmm. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? You're gonna be a crafter. The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke. And space is luxury we don't have. Okay. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. But now the old morgue Perhaps is full. There first. Full, full. Where is this morgue? Great. <laughs> it's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Yikes. Take this key. Oh god. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue. People will the fight you in the back street. The at the end of a narrow street. <laughs> On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Before I get my blood. Where my blood, where my blood, where my blood at. Alright, can I say hello? I cannot enter. <clears throat> Was there anything else in here? No. No, no, no. No, just, just head on out. You go fight and... And find materials. Materia. Yeah, find the materia. That door was very quiet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Some of the audio is like a little delayed. Do you notice that? Yeah. So, like sometimes it glitches out. Yeah. In general. It's a shame this game didn't have a bigger budget. Like you could tell that like there was some clear ambition here that was kind of handicapped by the budget. You know. Voices in the garden. I should investigate. <laughs> if they were to find somebody. Oh, that God. It's interesting. Oh, this man's level six. Get ready to fight. All right, remember, you can lock on. Try pulling out your gun. Um, how do I do that again? Press down. Or uh, right. Sorry. Oh, shit. Kevin, you failed me. It's either right or uh, down on the D-pad. Or down and then right. Nice. I'm using the bludgeoning thing now. Yeah. She seems to not care anymore. Do you attack with... Uh, Square in that? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. But I'm stunning, too. I feel you. So I need some blood. You know what I mean? I do. I mean, you're full blood right now. Wait, I still haven't used my down and then right. That uh, just says this. I don't know. Ah, screw you. I had something. Little handy dues. Watery, sturdy blood sample. Okay, so you got a blood sample. Nice. Tight. How did I use my gun? Let me see let me see this. How do you <laughs> I just uh, used my gun? Where's the Oh, cause we equipped this and it made our offhand that. So if we go like this. 
don't nod are ambitious in very cool ways. One of their first games was called Remember Me. By all accounts, a good spectacle fighter with a great story, but it was a commercial flop. Huh. I've heard of Remember Me. I would like to play that. They have this other one with the little boy. What was that called? Captain... Underpants. Captain <laughs> Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. They're big Elton John fans. I don't know. Uh, I, I equipped the gun. Okay. So you just do right and left to switch your uh, your main hand weapon. Yeah, oh. Captain Spirit. We have the first episode of that. Should that we I go play. up there first? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a villain. You can shoot him. Oh, I can now. Even though it says not to, it's like that's not a good idea. And to do your triangle, like, uh, you have to press right. You're almost out of bullets already, just letting you know. I need to run. Yeah, you need to heal. There we go. Takes then... a while to stun him. That's sick. Yeah, I'd love to see, like... I wonder how this game is doing, like, in sales and all that. Because this Ooh, is, like, the I kind of game... Fell. Ooh. These guys are not very energetic. <laughs> Bleh. Bleh. Okay, that door's open to my right. Yeah, the combat does seem to be right. the weaker portion of this. Uh, that spiked mace does less damage than swords. However, it's great for stamina damage if you want to use a lot of powers. It's a good call. So you can switch your main weapon with the left button. if you Because it does less damage, Kaiser said. Maybe I should do one at a time. Yeah. All right. Nice. Blood spear. I come with the blood spear. Oh, interesting. That's how that works. Um, I heard Vampire is selling well. Some people don't like the combat, but many like the story. The combat is less refined souls but it's not bad i agree like it doesn't look terrible um i i wish there was that like that really like good combat polish that like say neo or like the from games have but for for what this game is it's really fascinating oh, and sad. the story looks like it's definitely going to get us through milton and pippa Oh, look at that. That's the... There's a romantic photo guns. of them. The, the guy who sells guns, right? Yeah. So, Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Those two have hidden their affections well. In the pocket of this dead man over here. <laughs> Keep our secrets safe. <laughs> this looks Creepy. like a lovely alley to go down. Well, that's what you're here to do. You're here to investigate. Oh my god, I thought that was in the game. It was just you scratching. Oh, sorry. That's a very creepy sound. It, it was. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. Okay. I think so. So I'm going to go back and go in that other We're door. We're going in here. That gate is open. We I got a shotgun shell. We Tight. We So where are you going? Well, this I haven't been in, and I wanted to see what's going on before I go to the place I need to go I to. I thought the I thought you had been in here. No. No? No. I thought this was just part of the hospital. Uh is it? No. No. No, Kevin, it's not. It's another way to a place I've already been though, I think. Oh really? A waiting room or something. All right. 
Wasn't there a thing that you could jump up on? There was. Where was that? Was that over here to the right? Back? Or do you Back know where here. it was? Back here. Was it up there? Yep. Ah. Uh huh. Now what? Uh. Are you eavesdropping? I suppose. Or I can maybe unlock a door? Is there another way you can look and swans? Hmm. Swansea? Oh, it's Swansea's office. Pip, Pip is, is down downstairs. There. This is whatever lady. Mm hmm Look up. Is there like a thing that you can jump up to? Like that teleport? No. Alright, just just go. Interesting. I guess it's just for eavesdropping, and that's all they had to say. Yeah, may well, maybe like later they open up a window and you can hear some juicy, juicy tidbits. Juicy tidbits. Juicy tidbits by Ashley Manley. Ew, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> Dishonored's a game I'd love to play. I've never played it before. Looks sick. That's that Bioshocky looking game. <laughs> she sounded like you were like making cat sounds. Yeah, like you were hungry bun buns. Yeah. What? What is that? A door. It's a door. What is that, Kevin? <laughs> Quickly, tell me. There's no more peeps for me to fight. No. I have grease. Yeah, the the, the enemy placement is relatively sparse. What's this? Quarantine. Influenza. Influenza. It's not gonna matter to me. Oh, sorry. More quarantine. Keep out. Keep out zombies. Keep out, Nathaniel. Here's a pizza. <laughs> Here's a pizza. Uh, Dishonored is not good. It's great. One of the best <laughs> stealth games of modern times. I also recommend uh, the Sticks games by a smaller studio, but so very creative, fun, and challenging. Okay. So blind shots and preachers can feel your presence. Okay. Using Shadow Veil. And Dishonored should be pretty cheap now. The the did you like the second one, Kaiser? Because they made a second uh, Dishonored, right? Yeah, Dishonored 2, yeah. They also made a, like a spin-off game or a DLC, didn't they? I've yet to buy it. Ah. I love stealth games. Um, there was this old stealth game on like PS1 or PS2, uh, and it was called Beyond Good and Evil. Yeah. And I loved it, and I think they're remaking one. Uh, they're making a sequel, yeah. And Except I was so sad I never got to finish it because back in that day, you had the discs, right? Uh huh. And so my disc would just like stop working three quarters of the way through the game. So That's I bummer. never got to finish it. I wish And uh, that was like a common thing that would happen. Do you remember? Like, yeah. oh man, I never finished that game. My disc stopped working. <laughs> we, just accept, <laughs> we just accepted it as fate. Yeah. Like, eh. I, I had uh, Final Fantasy VII. And my disc one got completely scratched up, right? And to play the rest of that game, it turns out all of the story and everything but the CG cutscenes cut are printed on all three discs of that game, right? Uh-huh. And so what I had to do was play the game normal. Like, I would, I would boot the, the game with disc one in, and then I would have to swap it quickly into disc two. And then anytime a cutscene happened, I had to very quickly open the disc tray, move disc one in, and then close it. And then for some reason, like, the scratches didn't affect disc one on the cutscenes. But anytime I exited a load screen or anything like that, it would affect it. And it would just freeze the whole game. That sucks. Welcome to Load Screen Central. <laughs> That was a weird, that was a weird experience as a gamer, like having to like do 
weird shenanigans just to play or the like games. Or like with the old school Final Fantasy games and they have like three discs and then you have to like after the last cutscene on one it's like pause you have to put in a second disc and then sometimes it doesn't work. Where the golden I? standard of design in so many ways they're absolutely uh, they age beautifully. I, I would love to play the Thief games. I, I'm I always loved uh like the Splinter Cell games, I always loved. Uh, um, the, oh God, uh, Day Sex. That was the other one. The one that was on PS3, Mankind Divided. That game's fantastic. Wait, is this not the morgue? I just went through. A door. Did you find anything in the morgue? Uh, no, I'm going back in there okay. right now. But I found another way into it. Oh. I think I like unlocked. You it found another load side. screen. <laughs> Woo! Load screens. Yeah, I think Dustin bought all three Thief games and we were thinking about playing it on Classically Trained. Maybe I will do that after Chris beats Majora's Mask. Maybe I'll do uh, some thiefage. So how did you guys come up with Majora's Mask as opposed to any of the other games? Um, We were just talking about what games we would like to play. Actually, no, we were just talking about Zelda games. And Dustin asked, like, uh, like we were just talking about games that we'd like to play, and I was like, oh, for, out of the Zelda games, Majora's Mask is the one that I've always wanted to play the most, right? And then Chris was like, I've never played that game. And Dustin was like, you haven't played Majora's Mask? He's like, it's the only Zelda game I've never played. Wow. Okay, so that's why. Yeah. Or I think he said, or maybe one of the only Zelda games he's never played. Uh. It's also one of, it's either Aqua's favorite game or one of his favorite games ever made. Yeah, and I've not played all of them either. Oh my gosh, your mom's cooking smells so good right now. Do you smell that? Yes, I do. Do you smell the garlic? Is, okay, what's your favorite smell, Kaiser? This is not going to be weird, but mine is... Is garlic sauteing yeah, in olive oil. And that's mine too. And basil, like fresh basil. Ooh, fresh basil is amazing. Lavender. I like lavender a lot. Lavender has a good scent. You can tell I'm Italian. Yeah. <laughs> I like basil and garlic. It's funny that your mom doesn't like garlic. But she's cooking with it. And it smells like she's cooking with a lot of it. She's like, you gotta make this for Kevin. Dude, the blood power is sick. It's tight. The behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. Cigarette case. The sickness moves faster than okay, influenza. There's, there's my thing that I need. Oh god, that's making me hungry. <laughs> it's I told you to eat. See, I had my bell peppers. I know. You you were good. You Ooh, were so I smart. got some munmuns. Some shillings. Shillings. I got shillings. They're multiplying. Quanine? Quanine? That was used for... Well, it's in tonic water. Like yeah. vodka tonics, which is my favorite drink. Yes. Um, We're learning a lot about your favorites right now. Uh, yeah, and this is the Ashley favorite show. Favorite well, movie. I can drink <laughs> Quanine by itself with just a little lime. Yeah. Like my favorite. I love it. Yeah. And But Quanine was used back in the day for, not for the plague, but for uh, malaria or something like oh, that. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So you're just warding off malaria every time you drink a gin and tonic? Yep, that's it. No. <laughs> For food, one of my favorites, mix of garlic, onions, and a pinch of salt. Yeah. Heat a pan and then let it heat up, put the flavor all over it, and then cook rice in it. Mmm. That sounds good. That does sound good. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Nice. Great. Not only am I going in the old morgue that's been quarantined for health reasons, yep. but I'm going to go in the basement of the, of old, the morgue. old morgue. Yeah, but you're a vampire, so you're all good. And somehow, even though this is a vampire game, it's still turning into a zombie game. Everything is a zombie game. Uh, if you press left. <laughs> <laughs> Those jump scares, they'll get you. 
Uh, press left on the the D pad, and you'll switch to yeah, yeah. What do I want to switch to? I already did it, or you already did it. I mean, I already did it by, I already did it by telling you. I was wondering why I walked out of the room. As <laughs> you said, I have to admit that was a good jump scare. <laughs> Mostly because I screamed. Yeah. Not so much because of what actually happened. <laughs> what actually happened was just like. Was, was like I calmly walked out of the room and my character took out his weapon, which is a clear sign that yeah. something's going to happen. And then I slowly turned to the right and he was upon me. <laughs> he was upon me. Death was upon me. Luna, you're being so good. So happy. So, why it's can't locked. I go in anything? Let me uh, Are you upstairs at all? Is there a way to go downstairs? Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, if you have the key to the basement, I assume you have to be on the bottom floor <laughs> what if it's to like, find the door to the uh, basement. Let's go up more. I mean, you could. I don't know what's up there. Oh, here's There's some up. shit. Balls of Mars. Fortified. Balls of Mars. As popular as they are ineffective. So but why are dogs, we getting them? They do contain iron oh. tartrate, oh. and that might prove itself useful. Wait, balls of Mars? Is that a curse word? I don't. By know. the great balls of Mars. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, let's Kaiser, go up first. Kaiser, give me the etymology on balls of Mars. Fact check. Watery rich blood sample. Ooh. Mm, I like that rich Ashley, blood. if you like horror games with jump scares, no, she does not. Uh, tried the Screecher mod for Don't Starve, released for free by the devs themselves. It's pretty creepy. I'll try it. Mm, no, thanks. Would you watch me play it? Uh, maybe. Yeah. I have to be in the right mood, though. For a horror game? Yeah. I I'm still kind of I'm like... I'm starting to like horror games a lot. I'm still kind of like scarred when, for whatever reason, when I yeah. was a kid, my mother decided to buy me the entire series of Silent Hill. Uh -huh. She like went overboard like she always does. Yeah. And she's like, I bought you all of them. And she had to go to like some specialty stores to find the first original one. And I had the whole series and sadly like I couldn't even play them. They were just too terrifying. But anything with like, oh, anything with like demons, like and the devil, just I don't. That doesn't jive with me. She says while playing a vampire game. Yeah, but vampires are not devils. No, but there could be some demonic shit that pops up in this game. There, there could be. Also, uh, I got an update for Balls of Mars. Google doesn't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> Balls of Mars! By the great balls of Mars! There we go. I'm using the morgue key. Whew. Whew. Alright. Get ready for the jump scares. There's at least three people in here. Yep. Okay, so we got Rogue Skull. Yep, he's level five. Rogue Skull six. Alright. Rogue, Rogue Skull, Skull six. six. Alright, let's do this. Go fuck it up. I might accidentally fuck everything up. Huh. <sighs> These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. They're not after blood, they're after flesh. Okay. Uh, apparently Thief 3 has a scary level uh kaiser says it's one of the scariest uh levels in all of gaming and it does not have any uh demons so you could be good there if you want some jump scarage <gasps> you're like i don't want jump scares i don't know <laughs> i don't know all right after this we'll play thief three because <laughs> like even um last of us was really scary for me at some point at some points and that is like one of my favorite games though you you even uh, said that that is your favorite game at some points well it's just like the character development and every like it's just so good it is really good your other favorites final fantasy 10 and kingdom hearts 
Yeah, I mean, it was Kingdom Hearts when I was younger. Yeah. I thought 10 was your favorite game. Um, yeah. I think I really like 10. But it was my first Final Fantasy game, so I'm a little bit biased because I think you I think, always, like, attach to your first in a series. I think so. Like, Final Fantasy 8 is still my favorite, and that was my first. Back in the day when I was, like, um, I don't know, how old was I? 11? 12? I, I thought I didn't understand how Roman numerals worked. Yeah. And so I was like, well, I'll get this Final Fantasy V. Because I also didn't know anything about the series. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then I realized it was 10. But it was it was great. I loved it. Even though it was silly. Very silly at points. Mm -hmm. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh, yeah. That's a better impression. <laughs> Last of Us is amazing. Um, that is not what I meant to do. Like, I love narrative-driven games. Last of Us was great because it was suspenseful. Oh, one shot it. He was level five. Well, they did a good job of uh, weaving, like, I think the pacing of that game is incredible because it's still a cutscene-based game where, like, the story's delivered a lot through cutscenes. Oh, this is gonna be creepy. But they uh, they pace it well with like the gameplay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Gosh, I'm about to like. Last of Us is one of Paragons for linear stories. Like this is one of the Paragons. One of the best. Well, yeah. That's lovely. Yeah, this is totally unsanitary. Yeah. Death report. Local investigations. A new citizen investigation is available. Press blah blah blah. Okay. Oh my gosh! There's so much to do. So much to do. Office. This is your kind of game, babes. Yeah, I could play this for a very long time. <laughs> Samuel Kana. Race Caucasoid. Samuel was a fisherman. Cause of death. Um, do I want to do this? Oh, you I can don't... start a new citizen quest by tracking it with Square, then access your map to locate the area. So here's a good question, babes. Do you, do you like stories where the story is delivered to the player as they're still able to play the game, or do you like it when it breaks for cutscenes and it has like more cinematic elements? Um, I think back in the day... I used to really like breaks for cutscenes. Yeah. Because it was so impressive at that time. Like, um, even in the Final Fantasy games, like in mm -hmm. 10, I'd be like, Jenna and I would be playing it, and we'd be like, oh my god, it's a cutscene. It's a good It's a good graphic scene. Yeah, good graphic scene. That's what, That's you what always we said used to call kid. it. We yeah. used to be like, oh, it's a good graphic scene. And um, now, since it's all integrated so well into each mm -hmm. other, like, the actual gameplay and cutscenes. Well, because Last of Us uses cutscenes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Although, like, it's still in engine. So, like, or do you like it where you can still walk around and, like, pick shit up while people are talking to you and giving you the story that way? I think I still like the cutscenes. Yeah. I think it's, I like the cinematic element. And there's something really artistic about it. I prefer cutscenes, personally, just because... I like when stories delivered that way. I like when you can change camera angles or at least have interesting camera angles. Um, ha like first person games tend to stay in that first person perspective. Like Half Life did that very famously, uh, which we just played. But I, I tend to like the juxtaposition of like gameplay and like in engine stuff and then having more of a cinematic even like the pre-rendered stuff that square does you know mm -hmm. with, with final fantasies and that like it still gets me excited mm -hmm. and well, because they're like stop you gotta see this yeah and it's really important and then just like you can be more artistic with your shots and your camera angles and and when you're able to walk around while people are talking to you mm -hmm. you just don't it doesn't have that same effect and you're kind of like less interested in the story and what they have to say because you're busy doing whatever you're doing. Yeah, I hear you. All right, so what are you so looking at? So I was going to track her because I find that Thelma is really interesting. Okay. So I can, like, 
press this to track, I can go in here and find out who's spying on Thelma. People are spying on Thelma? I, I suppose. So Gwyneth and Tippett, we can find out the cause of death. I have read the report of Dr. Tippett's concerning the death of Samuel Connor. Oh, this is what we just found out. I'm not quite convinced right now. Perhaps I should conduct my own investigation. Oh, Ooh. That sounds really interesting, too. Milton. Oh, bring back the wallet to its owner. Oh, so I could bring okay. him back his wallet. I would. Um, uh, what is this? Oh, so there's like little quest lines that we can do, too. Thoreau Strickland is a young, daring physician. Okay, reach the pharmacy. So maybe I want to find this one out. Okay. okay. Cool. Uh, Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Ooh, oh, it's, it's locked. locked all right. Use listed knife. Blood absorb. You just acquired a new type of offhand weapon. Equip it and press to absorb blood. That's so kind of cool. probably stick it in them and... <laughs> <laughs> Just suck them off really quick. <laughs> yep. Let's go to... To a break for an episode. No, we're just going to finish this, Morgan, then I think we're, we're going to call it for a day. Okay. Because we've been going for, like, over four hours. Use hacksaw. Or about four hours. I, oh. I haven't used the hacksaw, though. That's what you have equipped right now. Oh, I don't know. That's what I have you, had you switch to earlier. Remember when I said switch your main hand weapon? What are you trying to do? Um. Equip oh, you want to? Uh, yeah. So click on that, and then it's. Does it uh, still stun them? Uh, no. So it, I need to do that. I need to still stun them. So then you can switch your gun for it. Yeah. Okay, let's go. There's a little thing above him. Yeah. There's like a, oh, here we go. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Oh, this is cool. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? How you can uh, investigate like corpses Multiple in that too? abrasions and scarring on the arms and Ooh. legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Gotcha. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Oh shit. A puncture over the left lung. Possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Hmm. Why was the... Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. Hmm. It's time we talk. Is Tippett the uh, the blood transfusion guy? Um, I don't remember. Tippett has made an egregious. He's the one that stays up late, right? Who like keeps who keeps working? I kept trying to find him because I thought we unlocked something else. We unlocked the fact that he was. Did careless. you see how that just like busted open as I walked? Yeah. Towards it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Where did I come from? Where did I go? Where did he come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Cotton Eye Joe. Did we do that in Detroit? Where I just kept singing that? I don't know. It was for something it's recently. Again. Oh no, that was just when we were hanging out in your room. Yep, and I was like, please stop. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Ooh, it's boss, John Doe. Oh shit, there's two of them. Oh jeez. Oh. 
We need to heal. All How right. many are there? Attack them. Oh god. You're out of blood too. You wanna you wanna stagger them and steal their bite. We need to dash it. Oh god! Oh god, Ashley, you need to heal. You're gonna die. Heal, quick. I'm trying to, it doesn't let me. Oh god, you might not you might be out of uh, heals. You might only get one heal right now. Bite him! Now try to heal. Oh god, Ashley. Come on. Nice. Nicely done. So I think you need blood in order to heal. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, oh god, you need heal. Why is the body not at the morgue? I don't know. Oh god. Oh, and there I go. There you go. Well, that <laughs> that might that might be. I think you might go back to the bed, and you might have to run back here. Ooh. Now, do you lose your experience? You have been defeated. Death is not a wicked thing. A true punish would punish punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Death is only the beginning. I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. All right. Well. So thank you all so much for watching. This has been just a, a lovely little streaming session of Vampire. Yeah. With, nice uh, to be with you. Me and my <laughs> wife, Ashley. We got the dog here. She's sleeping. You can't even see her. Oh, she's peeking her head up a little bit. Oh, okay. So you do go back at the morgue. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll save here and we'll just uh, do this uh, next time. Yeah. Cool. Everyone who watched on chat, thank you so much for hanging out. If you want to watch the action live, go over to twitch.tv slash sidecargames. Follow us there. Be sure to get all the, the live updates. We're going to be streaming a lot more. Uh, the normal schedule is uh, Monday night, Wednesday night. But Ashley and I are going to start doing some more stuff on the weekends. We have uh, Chris over here to do some stuff on the weekends. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're just uh, trying to just up how much we do here on this channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Sidecar Games. Bye.